Hello everyone. In this lecture, you will learn how to display our games according to the category. Right? So let's get started. Go to app, select Java under your packet name, open the activity directory, and as you can see in the previous video, we have created a category game activity, right? So let's open it. And as you can see, this is our activity. So we have to work on this activity to show the games according to our act, uh, category, right? So first of all, let's define array list and game adapter. Okay, so let's call private array list. And inside this array list, you have to pass our category game list. Okay. Category game list. Now let's name it category game list. And also create a variable for adapter category game adapter. Right. And let's name it category game adapter. It is working fine. And also define a function class. Function function. Now, as you can see, uh, we are not using binding, and uh, you also know that binding is easy to get components into our class so let's create a binding first of all define activity binding here privacy and call you call your activity layout as a binding this one activity category games this one okay so let's find activity category game binding okay let's name it binding Fine. Now, after the super one create, initialize this binding activity category game binding. Okay. Now inflate it with get layout inflator. Fine. Okay. Now set this binding as a content view. Okay. Remove this one r dot layout and use this binding dot get root. Now it is done. After the set content view, initialize the function class. Let's function new function and pass the activity context, which as you know we are using activity class. So you can define your activity class name with this. Okay. Category games activity for this. Fine. Okay. Now, as you can see in our old videos, we have defined our category game list and after that the adapter. So let's do it. First of all, outside the own create method, create a custom method to get the categories or initialize them okay so let's create a public void and name list data okay you can give any name or function to your method it is totally up to you okay now initialize this category game list category game list is equal to new array list. Fine. Now you have to also initialize our grid layout manager. Okay, and uh, this layout manager to set to our recycler view, right? So also create a custom method here. That's uh, public void name it l manager okay 
there is no new things uh, we are using everything from the old lectures okay there is no new things so in the layout manager use the grid layout manager name it you can simply name it manager okay and now initialize it new grid layout manager pass your activity context category means activity dot this and pass the column count uh, which is maybe two okay two is good you can set uh, any number of columns into your row means any number of games you can show in a row okay we will show only two now set this manager to our recycler view so go to our activity and uh, as you can see our uh, recycler view name is rv games okay so all our recycler view using the binding rv games now set layout manager and pass this manager okay now it has been done now after this message uh, method we have to start working with the api to get the games as per our category right so let's call it create a custom function for it let's public okay void and get games by category you can give any name to your method it is totally up to you okay now according to the method or our previous lecture what we will do first as you know we have to clear out our list right so let's create it category game list dot clear now also make the adapter null category game adapter is equal to null fine now after that we have to start working as you can see i not have initialized our api interface class as like previous videos uh, let me show you uh, let me show you in the home page main. as you can see we have initialized it here so we didn't initialize it there so we have to initialize it now we have initialized it at in the on create view because we have to use it three times because we have three sections on our home fragment but in our category game activity uh, there is no section only the one page which is the main uh, itself activity so we not need to define its own create we can use inside this our main function which is get games by category okay so let's call it api interface name is api interface call your api client now get client okay now you have to create api interface class fine now now you retrofit call interface this one okay now pass your response class which is here sorry inside this response directory which is there category game response pass it here category game response nothing category game response this is here okay press enter now make a call and use it now call your api interface okay now get your uh, as you can see we have created a six methods to get the games according to the categories because we have six categories so we have created a six method let me show you go to api files api interface 
as you can see in the last video we have created a get action game get adventure game get arcade game and so on okay total these are six routes okay so first of all we have to show our action games okay so let me show you how you can do that uh, just call the action game method which is the get action game right this one okay yeah now make this call in queue okay now use the new callback to okay create a callback for our game response okay. now in the own response method we have to first of all check same as it is our previous lectures for status code 200 it is not or not okay uh, we have to perform everything same not a single things different okay so let's uh, check it first of all we have to get the data from this response body to our category response class okay so I mean not a category category game response mm, this is the category game response let's type this one category game response is the here okay now now we have to take response from its body response to body okay after that we have to check status code from this response which is either 200 or not okay so let's check it with if else condition category response dot get status code is equals to 100 or not okay if it is equal to 200 then we will proceed working here and if it is not 200 then we will start solving error to our users via a toast message so let's uh, we have created a toast message using function so toast okay fine now you will get resources get string r uh, dot string dot api not found okay this one now also copy this line and paste in the own failure and just change this string name uh, which is api field right now if the status is 200 means we are getting the uh, response api data from our call okay but before getting the data we also have to check whether our game list is empty or not okay so how you can do that it is very simple okay so let's make it if as condition if now uh, take this category game response okay now we have to check the cat get category game list and its size is equal to zero or not okay is not equal to zero then we will start showing our games here okay and uh, here let uh, let's start adding the games by add all collection okay all the category game response now we we have to use get category list Uh, just wait uh, there is an issue we have called this uh, category game list actually we need category game response because we are getting the list from the category game right so call the category game response not the list okay now call the list okay now after that uh, we also have to check adapter whether it is null or not if it is not null then we will start uh, adapting the games into adapter okay so 
create a new shell condition if no call your adapter not the response this one adapter okay fine check whether it is null or not okay if it is not null then we will start working here and if it is null then we will simply make a notify data set change sorry category game adapter this one okay notify data set changed okay and if it is null then we will initialize it here category game adapter is equal to new now call the response uh, constructor which we have created there category game adapter this one sorry this one okay but one is activity context and the second is the game list okay so at context is activity our okay now our list name is category game list now after that uh, we have to set the adapter to our recycler view uh, as you can see our recycler view name id is rv games okay fine so let's call our recycler view using the binding rv games okay now set adapter pass this adapter category game adapter now it has been done now our code has been completed but uh, uh, make alt plus enter on this words and make not null okay and here select replace with objects require not none and also set this warning okay now it has been done now what you can do now we have to call all these functions method name into our own create view method okay so let's call it here the first one is the list data after that eliminate fine after that our get games by category fine now there is no issue now but one thing is remaining and you can see we have used a progress bar so let's work on it after getting the response as you can see we are getting response inside this method and after if else condition we have to use this progress bar to hide okay but before hiding uh, let's create an active scroll view enable sorry visible binding dot uh, wait 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 we forget to give a id to our next scroll view let's name it uh, id next fine now call it Net scroll view set visibility sorry visible okay. and call the progress bar set visibility gone fine it has been done now our category game activity class has been ready and there is no issue as you can see it is there and uh, but one thing is uh, still remaining and uh, what is that we have to call this activity on click of category so as you know we have set uh, on click listener for categories in the category adapter right so go to the category adapter class here okay now as you can see when we clicking on the category adapter we are showing a toast message for now but uh, remove this one and from there we have to uh, open this category game activity right so how you can do that it is very simple just to make a intent intent okay intent and uh, initialize it to new intent pass this intent activity context okay now uh, which class do you want to open it is the category game activity 
fine now open uh, start activity with this intent okay you cannot use start activity intent directly first of all you have to uh, get activity context okay so call activity context now uh, now you can use start activity intent okay now pass this intent now it is fine and uh, one more thing is that if you want to show uh, a toast message to when a users click on the games okay then you can also show a toast message to the users when a game is loading like that in adapter class okay but we will do it later uh, for now we have to check this uh, our activity whether it is working or not so and one important thing is left and uh, which is that as you can see in our activity game there is a no toolbar okay but if you are using old version of android studio then you will see it there okay but in the new version it is not there so how you can set the title it here okay. the setting of a title or on your toolbar it is very easy okay the process is same as like of before old android studio okay no issue uh, let me show you how you can set the title okay. so after getting this one all the data set the our toolbar okay so let's you have to call get sport action bar this one okay now as you can see in our introduction video we have a barrow arrow back key in our toolbar so we are creating this one first and set the title after uh, in this method okay for now we are displaying this arrow to make the functionality go back okay so let's uh, get support action bar and uh, dot set display home up as home up enabled okay you have to enable this one by passing a few billion okay now after you have to show a get sport action bar dot set display show home enabled view this one okay now keep the cursor on it and press alt plus enter and replace this object required okay now it has been done and now you can set the title to your toolbar programmatically and uh, what you can do it uh, you can do it uh, inside this own response okay as you can see we are getting response to 100 successfully so it means uh, api is working fine so after that as like status code you can set the title here okay so it in it is uh, not an issue to set a title so let's uh, check it just simply you have to call a set title attribute this one okay. set title and inside this set title you have to pass your uh, name for which you want to show in your toolbar this activity okay so we have a dynamic text okay so let's call it category response and get type okay this one let me show you what it will show suppose that we are getting the action game so let's open it uh, as you can see type is action games okay you manually not have to define the every time uh, which games by category is displaying it will display automatically 
if suppose if we are viewing adventure games url then it will so it will automatically change its type you not need to change it manually as you can see type it's adventure games now okay that's why it is using a dynamic so i think it is almost completed but uh, a button is uh, left for going back to the previous activity okay or game category fragment so we have to create it there you have to create a simple on sport navigation up button okay just uh, create a public green on sport navigate up fine i to write this method name and uh, inside this method you have to call get on back press dispatcher okay call the second one this and after this click this on back press now return to okay now it has been fine now let's run the app before running the app let me connect the device to our android studio let me pause the video our device has been connected successfully so let's run the app As you can see app has no error and running smoothly so let's click on category and now click on action games category as you can see our action games are working fine okay there is no issue and also progress bar is also working fine and uh, as you can see now click on adventure category let's show what happened click on adventure as you can see it is still showing action games okay as you can see in the title bar it is showing action games still because we didn't create a such a system or method to show dynamically in one activity okay so we have to create this one and as you can see our back button is also working fine okay so let's create a function so that we can uh, display our all games by category from only single games activity okay if you want to display a games according to the cate uh, games category then you have to 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 the two way and in which way you can select the first one which is either you have to create a method in this class to replace your api interface because we are getting get action game using this api interface right either you have to change this one or what you can do you have to create a separate activity for your all games uh, like action games at action games activity arcade games activity adventure games activity like this but it is not a good idea so what we can do we can do simply just change this these two lines only every times dynamically as by clicking on category right so first of all what you can do we have to define our categories with the intent okay go to the category adapter and uh, as you can see the intent is used is here so we have to pass a category name here along with the intent put extra method so let's get started but uh, you should know why we you are using this one because 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ सपोज वी आर सेंडिंग ए एक्शन गेम्स नेम राइट सो इन आवर गे कैटेगरी गेम एक्टिविटी वी विल कॉल एक्शन गेम्स एज पर आवर स्ट्रिंग्स वैल्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर सेंडिंग फ्रॉम हेयर एडवेंचर देन वी विल कॉल दिस ए पी आई इंटरफेस विद गेट एडवेंचर गेम्स ओके मे बी यू विल मोर अंडरस्टैंड बेटर बाई प्रैक्टिकल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड now pass your intent put extra put extra now let's key name category and pass a dynamic category value okay category game list dot get position okay now get category name okay now it has been done now in our activity class we have to use this category key to get the category name and for the category name we can initialize the api interface class okay let me show you our in this method after the function here we can initialize or get our intent extra value is there okay so let's create it string intent we are getting a intent value so that's why i name is string to intent okay you can give any name it is totally up to you not an issue but uh, that's it's some mistake let's remove one uh, i have to call the intent first okay an intent okay now get it. now you think this intent now we have to create a string value now let's uh, name it category okay now call this intent and get a string extra we have to pass the our key, which is category copy this one this here sorry did not see copy and this here now it is done okay but uh, but we have to use a such system so that if categories by default no categories showing then f will crash so to avoid it use a if else condition okay let's call let's call if category okay now we have to check is empty or not if category is not empty then we will uh, fetch this our this function here okay uh, let me copy this code cut here and paste it after the l manager okay now it is fine now copy this uh, function name method name and paste it here okay and suppose if category list is empty it simply show a toast to the users about this here okay function so toast and error you can show let me create a error in the string resource value go to values string dot html now press control d and uh, name it no category okay. and uh, let's value it no category is selected okay good 
now get resources get stream r dot stream dot no category okay fine it will show a torch message if category is empty okay now using this way your app will not crash okay uh, keep the cursor on it and press alt plus enter and use the second one replace with okay now it has been done now we have to also pass a dynamic category inside this uh, method because we have to get the api interface call as per our categories okay so what we can do uh, we will can create a custom function or using a if else condition or also you can use a if else condition inside this way so let me pause pass this category string copy this one and pass into here okay now also create a string name it category okay now using this category we will we can call the our games as like action arcade adventure anything okay so how you can do that just simply what you can do first of all you have to remove this one okay remove this one now make it null okay now after this line it is a if else condition okay what we will check we will check if our this category is equal to the category's name means it is equal to action then we will start displaying action games if it is this category is equal to the adventure then we will start adventure games like this okay so let's start it call this category equals to action okay if it is equals to action then we will start displaying the action game okay now call this call function this one okay now initialize it here api interface now get the action games okay fine but uh, one more thing what you can do you instead of equals use the equals ignore case because maybe if you make any single mistakes in a future in your any code or project then it will not show error so to avoid this use equal ignore case okay equal ignore case okay now it is good it will not crash your app and it also will work if you write down this okay or all the capital letters it doesn't matter okay it will not any issue so it will show action games now what we can do more we will use the else condition okay now copy this one okay now make a l paste it there okay now inside this action now our category name is let me show you get the categories by this api okay go to get api and as you can see our category name first is action second is adventure copy this one okay and now paste it okay now instead of get action games replace this get adventure games right sorry adventure this one now again copy this one and paste it here okay and after adventure you can take the arcade and replace the adventure with the and also replace this method with the get arcade game, right now again copy this else if condition okay this one and 
after you can copy the strategy and replace the arcade with strategy and replace this method also get strategy right now again create a else condition okay now get the sports and paste it here and get sports game right now copy this one and pick here and copy the last category which is puzzle replace the sports with puzzle and also replace this method with puzzle get puzzle game now it becomes fine there is not any issue and uh, we have to now what we will do if uh, this uh, Call is null. Okay, so to avoid it, what you can do? As you know, we have created our API interface on the basis of the of a previous result, which is received by intent. Okay, and suppose that if we come here by using this method and uh, there we not receive this category uh, uh, not neither action adventure arcade strategy sports puzzle but we get a different one so in this case what will happen in this case your app will be crashed why because you are not uh, initialize the call with the API interface and because you have initialized with them only with this okay so to avoid the crashing of app you have to also create a if else condition for uh, your this function okay so just select this one keep the cursor here and press double click on it to select to whole function it okay and simply if you do not want this and then si simply keep the cursor here and as you can see it is the last here okay so what we can do we have to simply wrap it with if condition okay what we have to check we have to check is call it null or not okay because we have it means initialize it null so let's make it if not equal to null right now close the tag here okay now it is working fine and uh, there is no issue no error as you can see our code is clean so now let's run hope it will work as per the category different so let's click on run app icon as you can see app is running successfully and now go to category now go to action game as you can see we have see a toast message means no category is showing here so we have to fix it in our adapter class okay let me go back and check once again now select the adventure and as you can see no category is selected error is showing because we have make a wrong selection in the if else condition so go back to the category adapter and here it is not there uh, we have to go to the it, we as you know we are getting this data our fragment or in our activity or not you can simply make a toast to check whether it is coming or not but uh, if we are coming then what we can do we have said that uh, call this function only if category is empty so we have to make it 
not not like this just you have to put a exclamation mark after if condition okay now it is working fine okay so let's run your app again Now go to the category fragment. Now go, click on action. As you can see, action games are showing uh, in the top. Also, action games toolbar title is setted. Now go back to and now click on adventure. As you can see, adventure game is also showing and uh, title is also dynamically set okay now go back and click on puzzle as you can see puzzle games are showing and uh, toolbar title is dynamically automatically set means our uh, work is uh, everything fine perfectly hope you have understand it if you find any issue or need my help do not hesitate to contact me okay so this video has been completed i will meet you in the next video